In this lesson, I'll give you an overview of the media and camera chapter, and we'll look at these capabilities in some API demos. Now, mobile devices have become, in part, multimedia recorders and players for audio and video. Android includes APIs to leverage these capabilities and incorporate them into your apps. The primary page on the developer's website for media and camera capabilities is shown here, and there are also some pages focused on media playback, supported media formats, audio capture, Jet Player. Jet Player provides an interactive music capability that changes in real time based on events like user interaction and gameplay, and page on camera. In this chapter, we'll be focused on the code to use media and camera features. And let's start by looking at the API demos worksheet. In the API demos worksheet, there's a primary group for media in lines 151 through 153, and these cover audio and video playback. Now let's take a quick look at them. Click media and find audio FX. And the audio FX demo plays an audio stream and gives you controls for changing the sound at certain frequencies using sliders. Media Player has options for playing audio and video from local and streaming sources. And on these other buttons, you would have to add in your own file to be able to use them. And the video view plays a video in a screen area here. And once again, you'd have to add in your own video clip to use it. And the camera demo is in the graphics primary group. We see it here on line 122. So if we go back, click on graphics, and click on camera preview, brings up a camera. You see a shot of my computer. In the camera lesson, we'll go through how to set up the emulator so that you can attach a camera. And when adding media and camera features like these to your apps, you may need to include permission specifications in your manifest, depending on the specifics of what you're doing. For example, let's open the manifest of the API Demos app. And if you click on the Permissions tab, which we're in now, you see a number of permissions for different demos in the app. And in fact, the camera permission is down here at the bottom. And to learn more about the details of specific types of permissions you need for your app, look in the developer's website on the pages related to your app functions. For example, on the camera page, in the content summary on the right, you see manifest declarations. Click on that, it'll take you down to a spot in the page that'll explain how to do the permissions for different types of features. One more topic before we move on to code details. In addition to adding media and camera capabilities into your app code, you also have the option of using an implicit intent to activate media and camera apps on your users' devices. And this is an indirect way to leverage capabilities others have developed. Using this approach, you'd transfer control from your app to the media or camera app the user chooses based on what they have loaded on their device. So it's probably not going to work for you if you need to retain control of what's happening within your app. But it can be useful if you want to offer a media or camera option that doesn't have to be tightly integrated into your app. To learn more about sending the user to another app, review this page on the developer's website and our lesson on intents. There's also information on the camera page. In the summary to the right, click on Using Existing Camera Apps. And there's information on the intents that you would use to do that. That's our overview lesson on the media and camera chapter. Now let's get into the code in the next lesson.